Okay, three and oh. Dude. Wow. Let's check the analysis on that. Very tense, very tense. This was not dissimilar to the recent one that we played where we both thought we had a better attacking position, you know, and there could only be one. And it was kind of like that. We're attacking on the queen side, they're attacking on the king side. Well, let's see what the damage was. I think, for me personally, I don't know. If they'd have jostled their pieces a little bit better together, they probably would have won out. I think that's probably what the evaluation is going to show us. 
let's have a look at the um, analysis first. Three inaccuracies, one mistake, one blunder for the opponent. Two inaccuracies, one mistake, three blunders for me. Very interesting indeed. 49% performance for the opponent, 69% for me, so it wasn't a high performing type situation at all. Um, but hey, these games are sent to try us out. Let's get cracking and looking at some of this uh, movement. Okay, so we pushed through the centre here. I think they had a bit of an advantage because did they not win a pawn or was that a previous game? So nice and steady way attacking the knight. Already starting to target this area with the rook. But can't do much at this moment. So my, I was constantly looking, how can I get my dark square bishop in there? How can I get my white square bishop up on this diagonal? How can I get my queen in there? All from this point onwards, basically. And so, focusing on trying to get in there. It's got a bit of a blunder for the pawn move. We put a check on, it's got a blunder for us. Okay. Maybe we're supposed to have taken the pawn earlier. You know, this pawn move here. I don't know. Uh, but it's showing drawish, and then it's got a minus, and then it's plus 1.8 here. Um, but then with their pawn push, it's got a minus, but we didn't make the right move, did we? Because, what, where are we staring? Where is the bishop actually staring? Right on the damn rook, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, dear me. Oh, you gotta laugh. <laughs> Knight takes the pawn. Oh my gosh, these blitz games send me crazy. Oh my, look at that. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, so takes, takes, <laughs> plus 3.8. And then they keep pushing, so it gives us that bit of a bit of space for potential for the bishop moving here, <laughs> which it does. So it's minus 7.3, so it's almost unstoppable, is this now? So we bring that here, queen comes down, then it's checkmate. So it didn't make a difference in the grand scheme of things, but <laughs> oh dear! In fact, it's the same blunder from that point on. So it's like saying, "Don't do that move whatsoever." But the idea was bringing the bishop here. All I was focusing on was having a two-on-one on the pawn. I wasn't looking at what the bishop was actually attacking. So <laughs> that kind of let me down. But they didn't take advantage of whatever it was that they were supposed to do. Rook h3, so basically it should have moved the rook out of the way. And then it would have allowed a doubling up here type thing. Not that that would have speeded anything up though, would it? Because we didn't take it anyway. But it's going to be on the bishop. But the bishop didn't have any play in that section anyway. Plus 3.5 is looking a lot better for them. And does the knight take, or if the knight takes, then it would be, oh, it's still okay for them. Bishop takes. Why is it not the same now? Because he carried on, he wanted to keep pushing, didn't he? Yeah, so it would have given us that there. So in any event, it didn't make much difference because the way the opponent was playing, they were focused on pushing the pawn. So even if they had moved the rook, I think they would have been pushing this pawn. Okay, so we're saved, but not <laughs> from any brilliant play. That does make me laugh. Okay, so they kept pushing. We brought the knight up. Got a big massive blunder on that. And then we captured. <laughs> oh dear me, so bad. But you can see why the opponent's just constantly pushing that pawn down. He's looking for the benefits. And checkmate on that side there. I don't need to do any more. That, that was... Um, it's funny to see it in the evaluation, but during the game, felt okay. You know, felt like I was doing something. I had a focus and target in the king area. But <laughs> I, I don't know if taking it to me would have gave me any benefit personally. I think it would have just slowed down my 
attack going towards here. I know the computer saying that, yeah, it should have done it or something should have happened along there. But it didn't seem to impact anything during the game. And this is, again, doing the evaluation. I have to take certain things with a pinch of salt and look at the gravity of the impacts of what the computer's saying. They're playing like a quick game. It's a bullet, you know, it's a blitz game. And if the opponent's not finding these magical moves and if they're human, um, which is good, then at least you can have a decent game because they're going to make mistakes too. So I'm really quite pleased with that.